Hey everybody, so welcome back to North Fork. I'm Derek, thanks for joining us today. So we're down here again at the old loader. Uh, tried to get it started here the other day. I was going to push some dirt around up in the, the low spot that we've been filling in up there, but it wouldn't start. I had the solar battery chargers on one of the batteries. Uh, I hooked both the batteries up, went to start it, and it, and it wouldn't, wouldn't start. Turn over once or twice, but that's about it. So I just uh, gave up on that and figured I'd come down here another time and, and work on it. So today's the day I'm going to take a look at it, check the voltage in the batteries, um, see maybe one of them's dead, both of them dead, I'm, I'm not sure what, and uh, see if we can't get it started. All right, let's go ahead and pull the battery cover off and uh, check the voltages. So the first one's showing 12.13, so we got 12 volts, so that battery is good, and I think that's the one the solar charger was connected to. Second one's second one's showing a little bit lower, 11 volts, 11 and a half volts. So not quite as much in that battery. Uh, I brought the the old truck down, so we're probably going to hook the jumper cables up and uh, see if we can get a little more juice in here and see if we can get this started. All right, so we got the cables hooked up to one battery. Let's see if we can, it's enough to uh, get it started. All right, I switched the jumper cables over to the other battery. I have to let it charge a little bit and let this one charge and uh, see if it'll start now. All right, got both trucks hooked up, one to each battery, so let's see if that's enough to get it started. I hope so. Well, that's a good deal. I got it started. Just wasn't enough juice in those two batteries, so got the trucks up up to it, and, and it works. Now I can get everything unhooked. The trucks back up to the house. Maybe we'll push some dirt around here today.
All right, so got that moved around a little bit. More fun than anything else. Again, I'm not an expert by any means. Uh, just like to enjoy playing around like that. Still a little bit muddy, still needs to dry out some before I can get it down to where I, you know, final grade it. But I'll pick some of these big rocks and pieces of wood out. And then uh, once it dries out, we can work on it a little bit better. Let's move up here to where I dumped all this dirt and let's see if we can push some of this around.
All right, so I just took the machine up to the house, and uh, we'll get those batteries charged, and maybe even take a look at the charging system, and find out why it's not charging, why it doesn't keep the batteries charged. But, uh, you know, I said it before, and I'm not a professional. I don't do this for a living. Somebody's going to watch this and go, what in the world is he doing? Um, he doesn't have a clue what, what's going on. Yeah, they're right. Um, I don't. I just do it for fun. I enjoy running the equipment. Um, just do it on the weekends. I don't do it as a job or anything like that. It's just a hobby. So, um, so again, this is just entertainment, strictly entertainment, no professional advice on how to do any of this because it, it looks terrible when I'm done. So at some point soon here, once it dries out a little bit more, we'll push the rest of this around and maybe try to grade it a little bit better. Uh, there's still a couple loads that we got to haul up here uh, from down at the neighbors, but um, it's getting there. It's just, uh, again, something fun that, that I can do on the weekend. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.